Hey ladies and gents, and welcome back. Today, we are tackling a brand of shoe that personally and professionally, I think is one of the easiest brands out there to resole. Now, the reason I'm taking an easy brand to resole today is because I'm flying solo. Heath and a bunch of the other folks are sick and out of the office this week, so I'm gonna be going alone on this video. But anyways, it is a pair of Allen Edmonds. And as you can see from this pair, there's a lot of holes already in the soles. Hill blocks have been worn down. The top lift completely fell off of one of the hills. They are in desperate need of some attention. So without further ado, let's tackle this pair of Allen Edmonds. All right, let's get these hill blocks off of here. Like I said, Allen Edmonds has always been one of my favorite shoes to work on, or should I say brands to work on, because it's so easy. Um, like I said, because it's a 360 welt, which I'll show you here in a second. There you go. So because it's a 360 welt, which for you folks that you know don't watch the channel all the time or may not know shoes, uh, it basically means the stitching just goes all the way around the shoe right here. And that just makes it a lot easier. That means the heel blocks can be put on from the top here, which means that the nails go through this way and it, the block just comes off a lot quicker. And then on top of that, it's just gonna be so much easier just to cut the stitches around this, take the sole off, the shoe is just, it's almost like a well-oiled machine uh, when it's you know put together and taken apart, put back together, taken apart. It's just one of those shoes that's just, it's very, very easy to work on. So they were doing some construction work right outside of our door here. So if you guys hear power saws going off and a bunch of other loud racket, just bear with us. Uh, there's not much else I can do about it. So anyways, just wanted to let you know that. Okay, we have the heel blocks and the soles off of this pair of shoes. Now we're gonna change out the cork in here. We'll do that in just a moment. I think the welts on here are looking pretty good. You know, not a lot of room to work with, but you know, if I don't have to change out a welt and a customer doesn't want that added expense, then it's always nice to be able to reuse that Goodyear welt. And I think we'll be able to on this pair. Okay, before we do that, before we get to one of your favorite parts, which is the hot cork, Guys, I wanna tell you about another one of your favorites because we see it all the time down in the comment section, and that is today's video sponsor, Anson Belts. Now guys, you've heard me talk about Anson Belts in past videos, and the reason for that is because we own several of them and because we really love the company. Now guys, one of the great things about Anson Belts is it is a holeless micro adjustable belt, meaning that you have up to 30 options, all a quarter of an inch apart, and you're able to adjust the belt based upon your size. So let's say you gain a little weight or you lose a little weight. Basically, you just adjust the track system and bam, it now fits you perfectly. And the other th great thing about Anson belts is one size fits all. So it comes in a long belt. You basically, you just cut it down to size, you put on the buckle, you click it in place, it's good to go. There's no more ugly creases or sloppy punched holes. Now, another thing that I love about the Anson belts is that you can mix and match. So let's say, for example, you bought some leather belts or some of their suede belts or their canvas belts, and you also buy a couple of different belt buckles. Well, the great thing is you can simply attach them, pop it on a different belt or take a different belt buckle and put on a different belt, snap it in place. Again, now you have a different belt with a different buckle and you, you can just interchange them all day as much as you want to. Now, another thing that I love about this company is that they have a lifetime guarantee on their belts. And not only that, but they have amazing customer service and they are family owned. And coming from a guy that also owns a family owned business, that makes a difference. Okay guys, for a special offer, click on the link down in the description box or go to ansonbelt.com forward slash Trent for an amazing discount. Okay guys, now personally, I recommend getting the box of three buckles and two straps, which will give you up to six different belt combinations. And you get all of that for under $100. All right, 
guys, let's get these stitches out of here. One thing I cannot stand is resoling a shoe and not pulling out the old threads. I can't tell you how many times I've seen that done by other shoe cobblers and it just drives me crazy. Okay guys, so I'm gonna take a quick uh, coffee break here and uh, just ask you guys a quick question. We get a lot of comments from you guys down below on all of our videos. Now, we don't always get a chance to answer all of your comments. It's just impossible. There's not enough hours in the day. But for right now, and I would say, I don't know, in the next several hours, if you have any comments or questions about shoe repair, not brands of shoes, not what brands do you think are best, anything like that, but about shoe repair. Leave a comment, leave a question down below, and we will try to answer as many of those as possible. I think it's just kind of fun. It's something different. And uh, like I said, we don't always have time to get to those, but for the next several hours today, we will try to answer as many of your shoe repair questions as possible. One of the things I wanted to point out to you guys as I was making these are the Allen Edmonds hill blocks. Now, 
when you send a pair of Allen Edmonds into us to have them resold, we have something called the Allen Edmonds resold package. And we try to put the shoe back as close to as what you're going to get from Allen Edmonds as possible. Uh, a couple of the only differences is we use a higher quality German pit tan leather sole, uh, which is going to last you a lot longer than what you're going to get from Allen Edmonds. But we do use the Allen Edmonds heel blocks and the Allen Edmond top lifts. And as I was going into a uh, back room to grab some Allen Edmonds heel blocks, I noticed we're out. I should have checked. I should have checked before I started this, uh, but that's okay. So what I did, as you can see, these are the old Allen Edmonds heel blocks that were on there. It's the stacked or compressed leather, and then they put this little rubber piece on there. Again, I wanted to make that as, as close as possible. So I did stacked leather and then I put a rubber piece on there, sanded it down so it looks exactly like what you're going to get from Allen Edmonds, except it's stacked leather. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys. I did not show me doing it. Uh, it's kind of a timely process trying to get that whittled down, uh, but that's, that's what we have. So I'm going to get those blocks put on, put the top lifts on, then we're going to polish these up. Shoe is almost done. So let's get back to it. All right, let's get some nails up in here. All right, two more little ones here. Are good to go. All right, let's get some glue on here and some glue on the top lifts and we're good to go. Okay guys, last step. Before we put these shoes in a box and ship them back home to the owners, we wanna make sure these shoes are looking their best. And how we do that is by hydrating these shoes with some nice conditioner and then following up with some shoe cream just to kind of put some color back in there, make these shoes shine a little bit, and then they'll be looking great and they'll be ready to go. So let's get those products added and then we will wrap this shoe pair of shoes up. conditioner on there.
Okay, one quick thing that I wanted to point out, especially for a lot of you folks that are watching for the first time and may not know. So this pair of shoes has a lot of detailed white stitches that go all over the top of the shoe. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is white stitches all over the upper. Now, what I don't want to do, even though this is a black leather shoe, is I don't want to take black shoe cream and just start putting it all over the shoe because it's black and that's what I would automatically assume you do. Because what you're going to do, obviously, is fill in all of those white threads and you don't want that. So what you can do and what I'm going to do for this pair, I'm just going to take a little bit of black shoe cream. I'm just going to touch up the little spots here and there that maybe have lost uh, shoe coloring in it. And I'm, I want to put that black pigment back into it. But really what I'm going to do on the entire shoe is just follow it up with a neutral colored shoe cream. It has no colored pigment in it, but it still has everything else that you would find in a shoe cream. So I'm going to put it on there. It will not cover up or dye those white stitches, but it will leave a nice shine and add more conditioning agents to the leather. So just wanted to run that by you. Okay, this pair of Allen Edmonds has been completed. But as always guys, we just want to quickly remind you, if you are looking for any shoe care products for your, your sneakers, for your dress shoes, for your boots, winter time is coming and you need to make sure you are taking care of your leather footwear. You need to make sure you're taking care and protecting your sneakers. So if you need any products to do that, please check us out at potterandsons.com. The link is down below. It's also in the description box below. So check us out. We'd really appreciate it. Uh, we're always here to help you out with any of your footwear. Also, for a lot of you folks that have been asking about our men's flip-flops, yes, I know it is getting cold outside in most places, but there's a lot of people heading to the beach this time of year, and we just want to keep you up to date on those. We have something really cool that is coming down the pike. About a month from now, maybe a little less, we will uh, be launching something and we will let you guys know. So if you're not following us on here, if you're not following us on Instagram or any of our emails for southernposh.com, potterandsons.com, definitely do that. That way we will keep you up to date and you'll be one of the first ones to know when these launch. Okay, with all of that out of the way, let me tell you about this pair of Allen Edmonds. Okay, this pair was sent to us by a gentleman who lives outside of the area. He mailed these to us. As you can see, they had holes in the soles. The heel blocks had been completely worn into, and it was time for some tender loving care. So, we removed all of the old soles, the old blocks, and we replaced them with Martin Gebruder German Pit Tan Sole Leather. This leather is going to last him a lot longer than the Allen Edmonds leather that he had on there originally. We also, as I mentioned earlier, new midsoles, new heel blocks. I put the heel blocks back the way Allen Edmonds would have done them. We were out of them, so I made those myself. And then we finished them off with actual Allen Edmonds top lifts. Then just, you know, for fun, did a little, uh, little decorative work along the sole, uh, along the heel block. And you know, that's about it. Uh, then, oh, also I conditioned them, put a little shoe cream on there just to bring out of a bit of a shine. And that's about all I did to these. And as you guys can see, and as we've said many times, this is the reason that you buy a good quality pair of shoes because they can be resold over and over and over again. And in the long run, you are saving a lot more money uh, by just being able to have them resold than going out every year and buying you another pair of $100, $200 pair of shoes. So just keep that in mind when you're out there looking around for shoes. It always helps to buy quality. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really appreciate you sticking with me. Again, I did everything on my own on this one, so a lot of different camera angles and whatnot. I was by myself. I hope you still enjoyed it. And uh, thanks, thanks a lot for sticking around and watching. Okay guys, until next time, y'all have a good one.